Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. What I wanna do in this video is show you a quick fix for a problem when you boot up your PC for the first time with your Corsair AIO cooler installed and the pump simply does not turn on at all. So the CPU temperature just continually rises until the system eventually overheats and shuts off. Now, this fix should work for any Corsair AIOs of the Capellix line or of the LCD line, the Elite Capellix or Elite LCD. If your cooler has either of those terms in the name, then you've come to the right place. Also, this fix may work for any other Corsair AIO that also comes with a Commander Core, which is this little device. With that out of the way, let's get right into the fix. If you are booting up for the first time, you will see the BIOS screen as shown here. If you are in the BIOS and having this problem, you will see the CPU temperature climb like so. Now to fix this, open the back of your PC and locate your Commander Core, which came with your AIO cooler. You can't see it very well in this shot, unfortunately, because of where I decided to tape it down to, but here's what it looks like for you. You will notice that there is a wide plug that looks just like this one that connects from your pump to your Commander Core. The reason your pump is not working is likely because this plug is very poorly manufactured. Even though you plugged it in, it often does not work unless it is plugged in very tightly and securely. Now, you will notice that when I loosen this plug, the CPU temperature starts to rise. And when I put it securely back in, the temperature starts to go back down again because the pump goes back on. So make sure this connector is very tightly plugged in and turn your PC back on. Your pump should be working properly now. That's all I have for you guys today, and I hope you did find this video helpful. If you did, leave a like down below. Please consider subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next one.